So Lucky, I had a little technical difficulties and back. This is uh, Amos 8 and 11. He says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So this is the, uh, man, hey, so the doors of mercy is going to close, man. The doors of uh, uh, mercy is about to close real soon, man. The men of the Lord ain't going to be able to go out in the highways and the byways, man, to teach anymore, man, with this coronavirus going on, man. It, it's, it's getting that bad out here, man. You know, it might, you know, it might come really come down to where they, where they have it, like, when nobody can go outside, man, period. You know, I just saw on the news uh, 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 last night, you know, they were showing all the police out in Chicago. You know, they were... Uh, Making people go in the house, you know, to really, really um, stress that they don't want nobody outside, you know. And if people don't start listening, they they might have to uh, uh, end up sending in uh, uh, martial law troops, man, make you to make you stay in the house. They they might just say, you know what, forget it. You can't go out. They close all the stores. They're gonna close everything down because you 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 know people don't listen, man. Then the men of the Lord ain't gonna be out there. You ain't gonna be able to hear the words. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to get the um uh, uh to get the uh, instructions on what to do. You know, even though the instructions is plain, basically is to repent. You know, turn away from your sins, man, and come back to the heavenly Father and serve the heavenly Father. If you're an Israelite, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel, you know? And, and the doors of mercy is about to close on, on you soon, man. The scriptures say that two-thirds of our people are going to uh, um, die, man. Two-thirds of our people are going to die because they don't listen, man. Just like, matter of fact, let me get that real quick. This is in the book of uh, Luke. Chapter 17, verse 22. He says, and he said unto, unto the disciples, the days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, see here or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteth out of the one part under under heaven shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the di in, in the days of the Son of Man. Right. So basically, just like in the days of, of Noah, you know, uh, the men of the Lord were out, the, the men of the Lord are out here preaching just like how Noah was, man. And and, and these people ain't gonna hearken. You know, they're not gonna hearken into the to the warnings, you know, they're not gonna uh uh repent because they think that everything is okay. They think that this is just a, 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 a part of a life. You know, they think this is a part of a, 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 a American history or world history where they can tell their grandchildren, you know, uh, 20 years from now, you know, uh, uh, about the coronavirus. You know, that's what they got in their minds, man. They think that this place is going to last forever, man. They just like their father Esau. The inward parts think that this place is going to last forever, man. You know, America is not going to last forever. This world is not going to last forever, man. This kingdom is not going to last forever. The Lord is going to come and destroy this wicked kingdom, man. This place is going to be taken down with nu uh, nuclear thermal fire, man. You know, and if you don't repent, you know, to the Heavenly Father, man, you're going to get caught up in it. You're going to get destroyed in a nuclear thermal fire that's coming, man. You're going to get burnt up, man. You're going to be in a lake of fire. 
You ain't gonna be able to swim in a lake of fire either, man. You're gonna melt. You're gonna and your body gonna you're gonna feel it. Your spirit gonna feel it, man. You're gonna feel that, that fire burning you. Even after your flesh done melted away. Your spirit gonna still feel that. This is uh, Luke uh, 17, 25. It says, but first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. And as it was in the days of no, so shall it be also in the days of the son of man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage into the day that no enter into the, the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. See, because, and the reason why, because they wasn't, they wasn't paying attention. They wasn't taking heed to what Noah was telling them, man. And the reason why they wasn't taking heed is because they was blinded anyway. Just like two thirds of our people right now is blinded. They blinded from the truth, man, because they've been programmed, you know, they, they, they choose the world, man, over the truth. They, they choose the lies over uh, what's, uh, uh, which is, uh, uh, what is uh, uh, what's, uh, the truth, man. Because the, the lies sound more better to them, man. That's why they, our people don't hearken to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Because, cause, because the ways of this world make them comfortable. And it, it put them at ease, man. The scriptures tell you, woe unto them that are at ease, man. That means destruction. Because you're not being, you're not, you're not on your watch. You're not watching for the Lord, man. You're not watching for the times, the signs of the times, man. According to the scriptures. You're not, you're not watching. You know? That's why I said woe unto them that are at ease, man. You're not, you, because you're gonna get hit with the with the big surprise, man. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be destruction on you. You know, even in this time right now, which the scriptures tell you, going, I'm going to go back to it in Matthew's uh, uh, 7. I'm just like 24 and 7. It says, likewise, likewise, also, as it was written in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they brought, they, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire. And brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the house, Slakia, that was the point in 30. So basically, it's going to be the same thing, man. When the Lord come, when he come crack those clouds, man, it's going to be nuclear war going on, man. World War Three going to be popping off, man. And, and, and the Lord gonna come, man. He gonna he gonna shoot fire from his chariots. You know, and, and, and you you gonna get caught up in it if you don't repent. Just like all them people who did in the in the days of Noah, who didn't listen, who didn't and who didn't hearken into Noah when he was telling them about the flood that's coming, man. You gonna get drowned in the you gonna be drowned in fire, just like how they got drowned in water. You're going to get drowned out in fire, man. Fire and brimstone. Just like how they got burnt up in the uh, uh, in Sodom and Gomorrah. The same thing, man. All of you people that's pro-world. Pro this 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 uh, this wicked-ass world, man. You're going to get caught up and be destroyed with this wicked-ass world, man. If you don't repent, man. The scriptures say, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, you know. And that's the warning that we're giving you, man. We we telling you about what's coming. We've been telling you about this, man, for years. This is uh the book of uh going back to the book of Matthews 24. I think I stopped out and I'm uh verse uh six. This is Matthews 24 and 6. He says, and ye shall hear. Of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, 
and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Hey, man, if you can't see this to the end, man, something wrong with you, man. You know, because there ain't been nothing but, uh, it's been, man, so many earthquakes, man, every, man, this last past year, man, in diverse places, places where earthquakes don't even happen at, man. You know, right now there's a big pestilence going on, and, and it's global. It's a pandemic. It's coronavirus, man. You think that's a coincidence? You know, just like that movie, uh, 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 I Am Legend. They had that virus that, that that killed a lot of people, man. They, it was a virus that they made up that they lost they they uh they uh they lost control over this virus, man. And it's the same thing right now. They showed you in that movie, I Am Legend. It's the same. It is it's a virus that they lost control over the coronavirus. That's the pestilence, man. He says in earthquakes and, and famines. Famines gonna happen, man. You're gonna start seeing that. That's man, that's the next thing to come, man. It's gonna be food shortages. You know, then what you gonna do, man? He says, and all these, and he says, Slack in verse uh verse 8. He says, All these are the beginning of sorrows. And those are the beginning of sorrows, man. These are the beginning of sorrows because it's going to get worse than that. You got martial law coming, man. Martial law truth coming, man. Next thing, next thing you know, this quarantine going to turn into uh, 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 something more, more drastic than what you think. They're going to have military, you know, uh, locking down your neighborhood, man. Start snatching you out your damn house to test you to see if you got coronavirus. And, and, they, and they can lie to you. They can lie to you and your family and say, y'all all got it and take you to the concentration camp and tell you, look, man, or, or tell you, look, this is the vaccine. You got to take it. And if you don't take it, then you got to be put to death. That vaccine might have the RFID chip in it, the mark of the beast. And if you take that mark of the beast, you're going to get destroyed, man. By the heavenly father. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. This is a revelations of. 14 and 9. It's not you. Revelations 14 and 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his head and or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without met mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So basically, man, if you take that RFID chip, man, you're going to get tormented in front of the Lord, man, and the angels, man. And that's what's coming, man. This RFID chip, this mark of the beast, man. That's why they, they, they doing all of this shit, man, because they want to reset the currency. They want to bring in a new world order, man. All of this, this coronavirus is basically, man, it's a part of the uh, uh, the uh, 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 Georgia Gladstones, man, population control. You know, they want to kill off as many as people as they can, can as they can, man. They want to only want, they only want 500 million people here in the, here in the world, period, living. That's part of their new world system, new world order system, man. You know, hey, why would you trust in this devil, man, who think like that, man, who got a mind like that? See, this is why you should be turning toward the heavenly father. You're supposed to put your trust in the Lord, not this world, man. That's why the Lord got us out here to tell you this is the way, man. This is the right way, man. Walk, walk toward the Lord, man. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, take heed to the Lord, man. But you people ain't going to hearken, man. You know, this is, um, grab this one scripture here. Jeremiah 6. 
And um let's see. Six and ten. This is Jeremiah 6 and 10. It says, To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Reason one, see, their ear is uncircumcised and meaning like, because you part of this world, man. You know, even though you're a so called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian, man, don't mean you're an Israelite. Okay? Because this thing is a spiritual thing, man. You know, you got to be not only blood, but you got to be also spiritually tied to the Heavenly Father, man. Spiritually uh, uh, related to, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord, he told you who who is it, who his family is, man. His family is them that, you know, do the will of the Heavenly Father, man. And if you're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father, you, 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 you a heathen, man. You a heathen and you're going to get destroyed, man, with the rest of the heathens, man. Simple as that. He said, he says, to whom shall I speak and, and give warning that they might, it's like it, that they may hear, behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. And that's why you don't listen to the heavenly fathers because you don't delight in the word because you don't like to be corrected. You don't like to be uh, uh, told that you're doing wrong, man. You don't you don't like somebody getting on you. You know, showing you the right way, man. Because of your pride, your foolish, stupid pride, man. That's why, man. That's why you don't listen to the words of the Heavenly Father, man. You 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 people want to hear something nice all the damn time, man. Like your pastors in the church are going to say, they say unto you nice things, man, and give you false promises and false prophecy, man. You know, because they have false prophets, you know, because they only in this thing, you know, to get money, man. They sold out to the to the, to this government, to this system, this B system, man, for filthy lucre, man. That's why they got those 501c3 charters, man. You know, because they sellouts, man. Those are not the real men of the Lord. The real men of the Lord are going to tell you the truth, man. You know, and tell, tell you the truth for free. The scriptures tell you that, man. This is in the book of um, Isaiah 30 and uh, 9. Matter of fact, I'm going to start uh, at 8. This is 30 and 8. It says, now go write it before them in a book and note it in a book that they may be for the time to come for ever and ever, that this is a rebellious people lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and the seers are the prophets, and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things, right, because you don't want to hear what's right, man, because you're wicked, man. You, you, you like the things of this wicked-ass world, man. The women like to be whores, man. They like they love to have a liberty to go out and sleep with all these different men. And you wicked ass men like to sleep with other men's women, man. Being homosexuals, man. Anything that's anything that's catering to your wicked flesh. That's the kind of profit you want, man. You want somebody to tell you whatever you want to hear instead of telling you what's right. And that's why the Lord going to destroy you, man. He says, uh, Salaki, he says, that say, Salaki, uh, uh, verse, this is uh, Isaiah 30 and 9. He said that this is a rebellious people, lying children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And you, you're not, you don't want to hear the law of the Lord, man. The law of the Lord is love, man. It's love. Let's show you how wicked you people are, man. You're full of hate. And, and, and wickedness, man. Contrary to the Heavenly Father, man. He says, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the seats. So basically, what's what you people want to hear? You don't want to hear, hear right things. You, want, you just want to hear smooth things, things that's catering to your damn flesh. 
You know, things that's going to make you feel, feel, feel good. The, the Lord ain't about that, man. And, and, what, and this show you how stupid you are, man. The words of the Heavenly Father do feel good. The truth, the scriptures say you should know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's a good feeling, man. To be free from out of bondage, man. Because this, 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 this body we in, this flesh, our chains of darkness, man. But when we hear the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh we are free from that, man. Free from the bondage of our flesh, man. We learn how to put our, our flesh in subjection. You know? Mortify our members, man. So that we can get salvation. Because that's what this is about, man. This is about getting salvation. He says, get ye out of the way. Turn aside out, uh, out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And, and that's what you people do, man. Y'all, 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 y'all move, y'all move the Lord out of the way, out of your way, to go be wicked, man, to live in in, in sin. You know, and that's what's going to get you. A lot of you people destroyed, man. Two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed because they hearken not to the warnings, and 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 and, and we are in those times right now. You know what? What the Lord is real near, man. The kingdom of heaven is close, man. Our salvation is near what we're nearer than what we believed. But see, the men of the Lord, we see it, man, because we watching. And we've been watching, man. We've been on our watch week in, week out, man. We watch we've been watching for the signs and the times, man. We we read these same scriptures over and over and over again. And we paying attention to what's going on in the news. Now everything that's been going on in the news is lining up right with the scriptures, man. Everything our Lord said is right there. Not even just in, in the news. We seeing it. Right before our very eyes, man. Prophecies being manifested every day. You know, with that, man, we give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and do rule well. Peace and salutations to all the Akim out here laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.